joining me for part 11 of this 21 part series of putting on the armor of God and fighting in spiritual warfare. Today, I'm going to discuss the difference between desire and lust. Please stay tuned. I explained what the desires or sins of the flesh was in episode eight of this 21 part series, but I want to talk about desire and lust. And I want to talk about it a little more because a lot of people think that they're the same. Desire is a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. The Bible says in Psalms 37 and four, that you should delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. When our thoughts, hearts, and lives are delighted in the things of God, our desires will also be in line with pleasing God. When our lives and desires are those that are in the narrow path that's referenced in Luke 13, 20, 22 to 30, God says that he will grant us our heart's desires. Luke 13, 22 to 30 says, Then Jesus went through the towns and villages, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? He said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow gate, because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. Once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, you will stand outside knocking and pleading, Lord, open the door for us. But he will answer, I don't know you or where you come from. Then you will say, we ate and drank in your presence and you taught in our streets. But he will reply, I don't know you or where you come from. Away from me, all you evildoers. There will be weeping there and gnawing of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves thrown out. People will come from east and west and north and south and will take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Indeed, there are those who are last who will be first and first who will be last. Lust is a psychological force producing intense uncontrolled craving or illicit desires or an appetite for a thing or things. Lust can take any form such as the lust for sexual desires, love, money, or power. The Bible defines lust as something that is very different from love. Lust is selfish, and when we give in to it, we do things with little regard for the consequences. Lust is harmful, and it's a distraction that pulls us away from God. In James 1, 14 through 15, it says, But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. So when someone asks the difference between desire and lust, we have to understand that desire is good as long as it's desires of the spirit and not desires of the flesh, which is lust, which is explained in Galatians 5 and 16 that says, but I say, walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. If you watch the latest movie of Tom and Jerry, throughout the movie, an angel will always appear on one side of Tom telling him to make the right decision and leave Jerry alone. But then right after Tom would think in his mind, like, oh, I'm gonna leave the mouse alone. You're right, you're right. I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with him. Right after he decided he's not gonna mess with Jerry, that's when the little de devil will come on the other side and he presents a completely different option than what the angel present. And because cat's real desire is to eat mouse anyway, the devil wins. The devil won in Tom's thoughts, which made Tom ruin a lot of stuff in the movie, listening to the devil's ideas, but that made the devil happy. In the process of messing up everything, it made the devil happy. We have to always remember that because we are human, we will sometimes have thoughts that are not right. But the more we spend time with God, the clearer our thoughts will be when having to discern what's the spirit or the flesh when making decisions. 
we'll always have an angel on one side that's telling us the right thing to do and the flesh demons and whatever else you want to call them will always give us those negative desires of things that we might sincerely have a desire to do but we know it's negative we know it's not of god we know it's our flesh we know it's lust we know it's not right so what are we going to listen to are we going to listen to the flesh or are we going to listen to the spirit if we are spending time with god the more time we spend with god the more we make that decision to listen to the spirit instead of the flesh i'm going to discuss in a later episode about fasting and praying and how fasting and praying will put more spirit in us than flesh it'll remove more flesh and it'll give us more spirit i'm going to discuss that in a later episode i hope you enjoyed it and understand the difference between walking in the spirit and walking in the flesh the difference between desire and lust i hope you enjoyed it and we'll come back on thursday to watch the next next episode of putting on the armor of god thank you